create a wood carving design or chisel the fat to add perspective to your next graphic design project. In this video tutorial, you will learn creative uses for the Drop Shadow tool in order to create a fun piece of art. To start creating your own wood carving design, you will need to find a suitable texture for your design. In this example, I'll be using wood grain to create a 5x7 rectangle. And from the pattern fill dialog, select bitmap. And browse to where your file is located. Once imported, set the size, width, and height to the size of the rectangle. And then click OK. Duplicate this rectangle by pressing Ctrl D. Next, position the rectangle to the center of the page by tapping the letter P on the keyboard. Import or create the image that you want to apply this effect to. Size and position the image on the duplicate rectangle. That's the first rectangle on the top above the second rectangle. With both the image and rectangle selected, from the Arrange menu, select Combine or Control l on the keyboard. Give it a hairline outline if it already doesn't have one. Add a black drop shadow to the top object. Set the opacity to about 95. Feathering to about 2 to 3. And then set the transparency operation to normal. From the arrange menu, break the drop shadow apart. Next, nudge it to the right three times using the right cursor key. And then down three times with the down cursor key. Basically, depending on where you want the light coming from. Create a second drop shadow using the top object. Set the transparency operation to normal. And then make it white. From the Arrange menu, select Break Drop Shadow Group Apart. Select the white drop shadow, and from the Bitmap menu, select Convert to Bitmap. In this example, I will keep the default settings, and then click OK. Then, apply a uniform transparency to the bitmap and adjust the starting transparency to make it lighter. Position this drop shadow in the opposite direction to the black one by tapping the up cursor key three times as well as the left cursor key. Select all these objects by double clicking the pick tool and then group them by going to the Arrange menu group or by pressing Ctrl G on your keyboard. Create a rectangle slightly smaller than your design. Finally, power clip the design into the rectangle to remove the appearance of the drop shadows that go beyond the image. And that's how you create a chisel defect in Corral Draw. Thank you for watching.